In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the best route combinations out of the trips tied in. It's known as the Y cross style concept. I'm gonna show you how to do it out of the play curl flat in the formation. Now, if you wanna get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so. And I'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So the play we're taking a look at is curl flat out of the New England Patriots trips tied in. And this is the cross concept. What the cross concept is really good at is it's good at essentially letting the receivers run um, across the formation. And it does a really good job of attacking man and zone because you want to run against man and typically you want to sit in zone. Obviously, um, you know, in this year's game, a lot of man to man coverage. And so this is a really good play uh, for the meta. So what we're going to do uh, from a route combination perspective is we are just simply going to take the left side outside trips receiver here and we're going to put him on a five yard in route we're going to take our tight end we're going to put him on an out route and then what i like to do um, is just motion across this middle trips receiver and kind of create a double set where we're going to streak that guy across and then with a running back um, you can do a couple different things if you want to smart route the in route on the left side and you want to send five out you can run the combo like this or just block the running back for extra protection because you are going to need some time for these routes to get open. Now on the right side, what you'll see right here is if you have short out elite against press man to man and they don't have uh, outside shade, that's going to be a big time uh, one play touchdown over the top. So if they're playing you in man to man coverage and they're not shading over top and they're actually pressing you, that's why short out elite is one of the best man beating abilities because they basically can't play press man so if they can't play press man then they're going to have to shade over top and when they have to shade over top this tight end quick out is going to be pretty much wide open especially if you have short in a lead on him because he's going to light up and he's going to get separation to the outside of the formation so now if you think about the from an adjustments perspective what are they having to do defensively uh, to kind of counter this this concept so far the first thing is they either have to shade up or they have to back these guys off. Another thing they're going to have to do is they're going to man or drop this guy in a zone and then maybe have the tight end manned up here with the user kind of taking the running back. And so they start to kind of adjust their man coverage. And then this leaves really the power routes in the play open, which is this post route over the middle of the field. It's one of the best routes in the game uh, for being able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. And so now the user um, has to you know, maybe do some adjustments like this. This is pretty, pretty common trips adjustments where we have an outside third over there on the right to stop any kind of C route or something like that. And then here, um, you know, again, just kind of a basic, basic coverage shell, maybe something like this. And then, like I said, you're gonna have to have this guy here, maybe this guy manned up. You know, you can see how you have to kind of start to really adjust. Um, in terms of what you want to do. So now the user is going to have to basically play kind of like a mid read where he's going to drop over the middle and try to take care of that route right there. And then that leaves that in route as kind of a backside check down in case they, um, you know, start to adjust to that. So that's how I like to use this play to beat man. Now, as far as zone coverage, what I like about this play is because you motion this um, middle trips receiver across on a streak, he's going to clear out any deep zone. So if it's a cover four, cover three, anything, he's going to clear that out. And then it's going to create some space where I can throw this post route with an outside pass lead. You want to ag the ag back to the ball so that you can come underneath it. Uh, but as you can see, it's a pretty big play um, potential over the top. And so they pretty much have to use her this deep post route. If they don't use her the deep post route, then you're going to be able to hit that over the top pretty much against any coverage. So here's cover three, and you'll see here, cover three, just pass leave that to the outside. Click on, you want a possession, catch it, or like I said, if you want to, you can also act back to the, to the ball. Now, uh, a coverage that is growing in popularity in Madden 23 is this idea of some type of Mabel concept where we've got a 25 yard cloud and a five yard hook or a five yard purple. And typically they're gonna do something like this 
where you know we drop the zones just like this and then they're going to kind of use her in the middle of the field but this is basically the idea and so the idea is this 30 yard cloud will be able to defend any kind of deep crosser once it gets to the sideline the beauty of this curl flat post especially if they run this as a, like a cover two is you'll see if i throw this to the right it's going to get well over a 25 or even 30 yard cloud and then that streak is clearing out the deep zone so you have the window to be able to really attack any kind of double Mabel coverage over the top. And so again, what we're trying to get to is their user responsibility is, is basically always going to be to, they have to defend this post route. So even if they have a yellow zone, like in this case here, we're going to drop this vert hook. The beauty of this, this backside in is it will just run itself open into space and they really have to have at least three yellow zones to be able to defend that in route coming across the middle and so it just really spaces the field well um it, you only need four routes if you wanted to um like i said i, I didn't get in, into this a ton but let's say that you know let's say that they're in cover four defense they got a user that guy and you drop the running back on that five yard in and then you also have that backside in so it looks like this now this is going to open up even more space because the flats are going to be cleared out on both sides and the yellow zone just can't get uh, over there to guard the in route. This is one of the best route combos in Madden every single year because it spaces the field vertically and horizontally and allows your receivers to essentially run away from man coverage. I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is down in the description below.